What's up guys, it finally freaking happened. Legendary has confirmed with everyone has been speculating for a long time, ever since God of 2014 got released. And there's been so much information, the only way to freaking uh, go over it all is basically for me to first of all read it and then comment on it, then we'll discuss this. So, at Burbank, California, uh, this is October 14th, 2015, this is just yesterday, Legendary and Warner Brothers Pictures 2014 success with the Godzilla franchise They finally decided to come together to bring together Godzilla and King Kong Just like the Marvel Universe They will be and DC one as well. They will be having their own apparently monster related cinematic universe uh, The announcement that the reinvention of monsters continues was made Today by legendary CEO Thomas Toll and Kevin Sujihara, chairman and CEO of Warner Brothers. The initial trio of films are going to be 2017 Kong Skull Island, which yes, apparently it's still happening. Uh, Godzilla 2, 2018, and then Godzilla vs. King Kong will be released in theaters 2020. Wow, that's only four years away, technically speaking. That is incredible. Uh, Legendary maintains its new home at Universal Pictures. The Godzilla films remain in partnership with Warner Brothers, who will now also distribute King Kong as a part of this franchise. Production on King Kong Skull Island begins October 19th. Wow. That is something to take in. That is something to freaking take in. It's... Wow, when you think about it, it's, it's amazing. Uh, Godzilla and King Kong, the remake that everyone wants and craves is finally happening, which is insane considering I already did a video talking about how I feel about them remaking this, and it's going to happen regardless, which is, wow, I'm less breathless, really. Uh, the connecting factor between the movies apparently is going to be the monarch organization, kind of like how S.H.I.E.L.D. was kind of the connecting organization between all the different Marvel movies, you know, you know Sam Jackson keep reappearing in all the end credits, so maybe we'll have Ken Watanabe appearing in King Kong Skull Island, for all we know, who knows. Uh, but this is amazing news. I mean, to think they're pushing this really, honestly, super fast of DC and Marvel, you know, they already have a planned schedule, but they keep saying King Kong, Godzilla, and other giant monsters, or other giant monsters they can be referring to, I don't know. However, it does bring up an interesting concept. What if Legendary keeps connecting other monsters, uh, namely Toho ones, in their own movies, which then connect to the Godzilla franchise? Who knows? That would be amazing because despite me being... I, I am, don't get me wrong. I am really excited to see this, although it still begs a lot of questions. I still want to see monsters like Gigan, Destroyer, and Mechagodzilla. So, connecting King Kong to the franchise yet again for the first time in over 50 years will be quite the task, but something I think Legendary can handle as long as they keep doing what they've been doing, and that's making entertaining movies with the right kind of direction. And Gareth Edwards is definitely the man to be behind that. At least as far as Godzilla goes, I'm not too sure about King Kong. Uh, I still need to do more information, uh, look into that itself. But the basic sum of this video, guys, for those who don't know, now you know. Legendary has made it official. King Kong vs. Godzilla remake will happen in just under four years, basically. Because 2015 is basically already over. By probably the summer of 2020, we will have a remake of the 1962 film. And of course, we all know it's going to be very freaking different. So, I'll probably make a follow-up video after this, guys, uh, about... With more information on King Kong Skull Island, which a movie that I thought myself was going to get cancelled, but apparently not. Uh, apparently the cast has been announced too, and a bunch of other things. So, let's definitely talk about that, and uh, overall, how do I feel about this? Uh, well, not the most exciting news for me, honestly, because like I said, I want to see other monsters like Destroyer and stuff. This is still great news, especially with the Gamera franchise resurfacing. I know a lot of people are saying Gamera, King Kong, Godzilla, all out battle royale, but let's slow down. 
let's slow down. Besides, having Gamera and Godzilla fight is kind of like having fucking, you know, a fight between the Hulk and Superman. They're still two different franchises. You don't just mash them together just because, make a quick buck. It's annoying. However, I do have a lot of confidence in Legendary. I think they can pull this off. So, I'm definitely not... I'm definitely not... Uh, well, yeah, I am a little nervous about pulling this off, but I guess the real, truly defining detail on how good this will be will be King Kong Skull Island. If King Kong Skull Island is a really good movie, it's a King Kong in a really creative way, it's different enough to be relevant, as opposed to the already pretty good, but also somewhat maligned for its length, 2005 Peter Jackson remake. If King Kong Skull Island stands on its own two feet as a really good movie, then I have hope for this. And uh, knowing Legendary, really, whether people love them or hate them because of dumb movies, they do make entertaining sci-fi action movies, like I said, Pacific Rim, entertaining action scene, Jurassic World, best freaking seller, Godzilla 14, you know, resurrected Godzilla from the grave, basically, honestly. And now that we're doing something for King Kong and make a really big monster universe, which is an entertaining idea. Now, aside from Gamera, I don't know who else they would include in a cinematic monster universe. I mean, Gamera is his own thing in Japan. So having King Kong and Godzilla come together is one thing. I don't know what else they would add to it. But like I said, I would want to see more Toho monsters coming over. It would be very interesting to see the American interpretations of these creatures. We're already getting King Girl, Rodan, and Mothra, which is fantastic. But let's continue this. Let's do more. You know, Hedera, Destroyer, Gigant, Mechagodzilla. Those are some of the easiest ones. Well, not easy, considering monsters like Hedera and Gigant, but some of the most popular ones to date in the fan base. So to see them come to life on a big American screen would be obviously very fucking interesting. But uh, yeah, guys, King Kong vs. Godzilla confirmed. Uh, just damn. Took my breath away.